Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to record your PC VR content using the Oculus Mirror tool with your Meta software with a Quest 3S, Quest 3, or the Quest 2. Let's get into it. First, you want to locate your Fox 4. Go to this PC. Select the drive that your Oculus software is located in. In my case, it's the C drive. Locate program files, not the 86 program files. Oculus software, or just Oculus support. Oculus Diagnostics, and then Oculus Mirror Tool right here. You can click on this, Control C to copy it to your desktop, and Control V to paste it, or you can do it the normal way, or you can drag this and drop it in here. I don't like doing that way because it will remove this file from this folder. Once you pasted your shortcut for Oculus Mirror onto your desktop, you want to launch the software. I'm gonna full screen it so you guys can see it. Now, at first there's gonna be nothing, but if you click on it, you can see this stuff pop up here. Click the settings, go to eye, never use both eyes because it just does this. Left and right eye, select which eye you prefer. Uh, you could be dominant in that eye or you just want to select that eye for whatever game you're playing. doesn't matter to me. For me, it's definitely not both eyes, but it's left eye. After that, you want to disable time warp. The reason why you want to disable time warp is because you see those black boxes on the sides here, when you disable time warp, those black boxes go away. So you go back to settings, crop to symmetric FOV. This will zoom in. Don't worry, we'll fix this. Go to settings, FOV scale, X axis. Now, at default, it's 100%. For me, I'm going to scale to 130% because I know my system can run 130%. Do keep in mind, when you do scale these values, you, your performance will tank. Your performance will tank pretty hard. Expect to lose 10 to 15 frames per value. Uh, it's different per systems. It's different for everyone's system. For me, I have an RTX 30, I have an RTX 4060, not 3060. So take that GPU into consideration. But once you scaled your value for the Y axis, leave it on 100%. I use a Quest 3, so this value doesn't change anything. It could change if you guys are using the Quest 3S or the Quest 2, but for the Quest 3, in my case, cropping the y-axis is a complete waste. And even when you do change these values to 150% or just different from 100%, it does still affect your performance. So leave it at 100% so you can have the max performance so you can scale your x-axis field of view higher. Once you have whatever value you have scaled here to your liking, you can then go to system layer visibility, customize this as much as you want. The guardian is the border of the of the perimeter that you set in your real time in your real area just so you don't bump into things notifications from your vr and the system gui now i did disable system gui and it didn't change anything i don't know it it's just something i don't know it i think it will change in the game but just not in the dash so customize this to whatever you like then go to image stabilization my, now default, it should be set to keep upright. And if you go to parameters, it should be set on the profile narrow. You can fool with the rate. You can fool around with these. In my case, I'm just going to leave these as is just for my tutorial. And then we're just going to focus solely on the FOV. Once you guys did that, full screen, and then click again. You're going to then use this window to bring it into OBS like this. I'm going to show you guys the difference between 100% X value and the 130% X value. Okay. So this is the 130% X value. Now, this is a little awkward because I'm fucking holding my headset and holding the controller while trying to talk into the mic. But you guys could do tests from here. This is what the menu looks like at 130% for Tactical Assault VR. Now I'm gonna close this game and I'm gonna launch it using the default parameters of 100% X value. You guys are gonna really see the difference. So settings, FOB scale, X axis, 100%. And I'm going to launch the same game. This is a 100% scale, X axis scale for the Quest 3 in Tactical Assault VR. Major difference, right? Then stop the game. We're going to do this again, except I'm going to be doing it with the 150% multiplier. So go to settings, FOB scale, X axis, 150%. It zooms out like this. And what we do is launch Tactical Assault VR. In my case, you can launch any game you want. I'm going to show you guys the 150% scale. This is the 150% scale on the X-axis for the Quest 3 on the Oculus Mirror tool. As you can see, 
the field of view is extended out pretty far. Uh, actually, I think this is further than what you can see in the Quest 3 itself, which is actually quite ironic, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, this it zooms out pretty far. Like, just by looking at this, I can't even tell if you're using the Valve Index or the Reverb G2. Uh, it, it's incredible. It's pretty incredible. But, do keep in mind, it's very tanky on your performance. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing else to show you guys. Um... This, this is just my way of doing it. I don't mess with any of the image stabilization. You guys can, but when you enable stim image stabilization, it will, yeah, it will do that. It will do that. So you basically have no option to enable image stabilization. So it keeps it like this. Uh, like I said, when you launch games, that black box on the side disappears. So it's, it's just something. I mean, this. This is the way I've been doing it. I actually recently found out about this. And this works every single time. Every game, never had any issues. Works very well. I'm going to show you guys one more time. This is just a game preview. Yeah, this is just a game preview. But when I put up the Oculus Mirror, look at that. Look at that. Another thing I forgot to mention is that when you want to save these settings, you click on this, you go to File, and then Save Settings. Problem is, if you do it this way immediately, it will not work most of the time. My PC doesn't work. Uh, if you have the problem where it doesn't work when you close this out and launch it, not with the save settings after you saved, then you have to locate the diagnostics again. So go to File Explorer, this PC, Windows C, Broken Files, Oculus, Support, Diagnostics, in Oculus Mirror. You click on Oculus Mirror, right click, uh, show more options, and create shortcut. Windows can create a shortcut here. Do you want to create a shortcut placed in the desktop instead? Yes. Close out this, grab this, and you right click on this, right click then, properties, and target right here. See this? At the end of this, the end of this quotation thing or whatever, press space, and then you enter your values here. I don't know where these values are on the internet. So that's why I don't have this save thing working for me. If the save thing did work, then these values would be filled, and I'll show you guys the meaning and everything, but I just don't. So I, I know it's unfortunate. I wish I could help you guys there, but it just doesn't work. Yes, I enter my information more manually. Thank you guys for watching my in-depth guide for how to set up your Oculus Mirror tool for PC VR games on the Quest 3, Quest 3S, or the Quest 2. Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.